Hello, everybody. This is Narada Rishi Raja. And today I want to talk about something that's pretty deep, actually, and it's pretty important for us to transcend. Um, us on our spiritual journey, it can be lonely. It can. I understand that. Um, I've went through those stages, and I get it. Um, and it can be really, really lonely. Um, and in that, a lot of times community is needed. That's the reason why I've started the Sangha of Seekers in Society. Um, it's a Facebook group as of right now. We're gonna be starting events in August. If you wanna join and you're in the local area, by all means, please join. Um, if you wanna join the group and you're far away, by all means, please join. I'll be getting stuff, stuff on there virtually um, after a while as well. But all of that, there were, the inspiration for this video, I, I should put, is in my current area, what I've seen. I moved to this town about, let's see, um, I think it was November last year, something like that. So that's a So about nine months I've lived in this town. Um, I do run a spiritual business, you know, as you see, as y'all know, um, but spirituality is my life. As anybody who runs a spiritual business, it should be, which means the way you move, the way you operate should be with the highest of integrity, right? That's the way I operate all of my life. I'm fully dedicated to spreading God source information to the point that literally it's the only reason I'm in this mortal coil. I've experienced a lot, I desire nothing. This isn't to boost me up. What this is to say is this is to give you a backing of the type of individual that I am, All right? My whole life is dedicated to this, any way that I can help. The reason why I have a spiritual business is because people don't take care of people like me anymore like they used to. You can't have a saint walking or meditating out in the street right? And people bring him food. That's not the way it works anymore. We're in Kali Yug. They just assume throw stones or lock him up. So I have a spiritual business because I live a spiritual life and I'm trying to teach people. Don't have an ashram to teach out of. Sorry. Can't do it by donation yet. Yet. But that's the only reason. Because it's my life. It's not a front I put on. It's the whole thing. I tell you all of this to explain the experience I've had in this town in the past nine months. One of the first communities, and I'm not gonna mention any names, so don't get scared, folks. <laughs> but one of the first um, groups that I hung out with, um, the, very, the very thing they talk about and that's talked about a lot in this specific town is community with spirituality and with spiritual leaders and with spiritual business and how there shouldn't be competition and how we can raise the collective consciousness to this whole new level. And guess what? I am totally about that, which is why I made community with this particular group, which is why I've made community with any group because I'm completely fine meditating. <laughs> but uh, as I try and reach out and help more that are, that are on their path, find their path, um, I reach out more. In the first group, I talked about my healing. I talked about how I don't suffer anymore. You know, a lot of people were talking about their pains and themes of overcoming suffering, right? And here's the thing, I don't. So I reached healing. So when we got to talk about that, my authentic expression is, I don't suffer. And actually my sufferings led to my understanding of how all of this bliss that I feel now is, so I appreciate all of my sufferings. Because of that, and maybe because of how I spoke, it seemed challenging, it seemed influential. I don't know what it was. I don't know what the fear was, but I got ostracized. I got asked to essentially, I mean, I picked up the energy, so I was leaving, but I got essentially told that I wasn't the right fit for that group. I had a high, high level of understanding, and that may make some people uncomfortable. 
that's uh that's not community folks this individual i later found out went and uh was saying all kinds of things you know to all kinds of the community behind me which has made it pretty rough for my business which has made it pretty rough for my life here's the thing my life is dedicated completely i've been happy the entire time I'm protected the entire time. I have ups, absolute and utter faith the entire time. But I do notice the worldly patterns around me, right? Um, and that's probably something that, that that individual did that, you know, because of the ripple effects and the telephone game, people will never get to know the real me. And that's sad for them. That's sad that they won't get to experience those, those teachings that might give them that breakthrough that brings them beyond spirituality 101 to healing versus coping. That was my first interaction. I've had interactions with several other groups. Um, one group specifically, which whole purpose was to foster this community. And everybody was all about their business. Well, not everybody, but a lot of folks, we will put it that way. And it was just to be spiritual community, what we could do to raise up. And I continue to see it. And these people, they're doing well in their business, and that's cool. That's good for them. I want everybody to do well because we live in an abundant universe where everybody can be abundant. Everyone. And that's the mentality we really need to tap into. Um, so every single group I've came into contact with, except for one, and I'm going to talk about them here, but every single group I've came into contact with here that's in spirituality business there has been serious competition mindset. There has been serious lack mindset and the fact that something's going to take something away from somebody else. You know, it's a spiritual community we're trying to build, which means everybody else that's not in the spiritual community, they have to see how unified this spiritual community is before that will start swaying their culture. That's the power that community and us coming together actually has. And I wish that for us. And anybody that sees this, that thinks, oh, maybe I did that, please reach out to me. Let's talk. Let's bridge those gaps. Let's not have any bad blood. Really. Let's build that community in this, this town in which I live, if you know where that is. That way we can enlighten and raise up everyone. Money. Oh, this person's going to take this money away. No, no, folks, no. Let's help the people. Let's help them in all of the ways. That is my call. Now with that, I say all of the communities, except one that I was in here. There is a special community that has been on my heart, which is the main reason why I wanted to do this video. There is a special community and this is nothing but tears of love and joy for y'all. And this is the Ditch Flower Healing Sanctuary community. Laura Lou, Steve, Jade, thank you. Thank you. We're all at our different levels of consciousness, right? But the Ditch Flower Healing Sanctuary community, right? Laura Lou called me in. You can ask her. She'll tell you herself. Um, I felt the urge. I, I went in. And since then, they have done nothing but supported me. Offered open arms. And guess what? I offer some of the same healing modalities as most of the people there. It's true. I do. Guess what? There is no competition. It's not a worry like that, folks. It's, it's a raising of everything. If you see a powerful spiritual leader, guess what? Bring them into the fold. You get more power. Not keep them on the outside or just a little bit where they're a tertiary friend. That's not the right way to build community. No. We build it with open arms and open hugs. Right? Throwing love at everything. Right, Lord Lou? So... Ultimately, let's all build community. Whether you're in my town, whether you're across the world, and truthfully, I, I can't complain about across the world so far because as far as social media, 
the world has me. They don't have competition with me, maybe because I'm not in their, their monetary zone, right? Who knows? I don't know. But, uh, but as far as community, anybody that has had interaction with me before, you know, um, regardless how you think that has went, by all means, I encourage you to reach out. Let's talk. Like, let's actually build community, please. I love each and every one of you. And I want to see nothing but all of us win to the highest degree. And no, believe it or not, I'm not talking about monetary. Although if you do business and you're in an abundance mindset, that's exactly what happens. All right. That's my wish. And again, thank you, Ditch Flower Healing Sanctuary community. I love you all. Have a great day on purpose and stay mindful. Namaskar.